Hi, dear DataFest 2020 viewers and participants. My name is Kirill Malev. I work at tech food drug kitchen company called Local Kitchen, and I'm opening this DS-ML track for you. This track will be most interesting for those of you who think that done is better than perfect, appreciate serving business value and practical solutions which are good in production. We have this track devoted to data visualization, any solutions which do not require neural networks, machine learning, big data, which can be described as applying statistics or algorithms to serve business needs. I hope that you will enjoy this track as much as we enjoyed assembling it for you. Hi guys, I'm Yulia. I'm a data scientist in PR data team at SEMrush. And at the Data Fest, I will talk about uh, data applications for PR and uh, marketing activities uh, we do here in our company. I will share some cases which prove that sometimes you need pretty simple and relatively small data to uh, make a huge impact. I will show you how correlation can increase the brand awareness and why you still need people who know maths and Python for that. I will show you that new look at the old data you already have may lead to greater effectiveness. See you at the Data Fest online. Hello everyone, my name is Andrey Lukyanenko and today I'll talk about doing data science without machine learning. I have worked as a data scientist for several years and before it I was a ERP system consultant. I took part in many projects and think that one of the most important decisions at the first step is selecting the right tool for the project. A lot of data science projects use machine learning, but sometimes it isn't the best tool for this particular job. Today I'll talk about cases when machine learning isn't very useful and tell you about a couple of such projects. When you have the data, need to get the insights from it and present the results. Hello everybody, I'm Ilya Saitanov. Welcome to Data Science Without Machine Learning section of DataFest. I'm from Moscow, from DSM Group. We are analyzing pharma market here at DSM, sampling, and everything else. And I will talk about uh, distance between model and reality and the minds in machine of mathematics that can give any rubbish to you and without any idea of how far from reality it is. We will talk about situations when we have restrictions in reality and have no such restriction in model because we are using some standard method, probably standard function based on that standard method, method methodics. And uh, we will see how often uh, very standard, glorified and simple method that's powerful enough gives no correct answer because we have some difference between reality and the model and we don't know about it because we didn't look into the data, we see no real picture of the world besides the numbers itself. And we have no control about our calculations. No control after our calculations that helps us to see, to fix uh, this difference. We will talk about some real cases from my experience, we'll make some generalizations, and I'm happy to 
well, and I'm happy well to welcome you to Data Fest. 2020. Do we always need machine learning in a data science project? Can we even call it data science if there is no machine learning inside? I'm Alexei. I've been doing data science for more than six years. I've seen many projects fail. They often fail because they use two complex models inside. We should start simple and iteratively improve. We often can start with no machine learning at all by simply counting things. We can count how many times users interacted with products on our platform and use it for building a recommender system. We can extract hashes from images and count them to find duplicates. And we can do many, many more things by simply counting. Join me on DataFest 2020 online edition to talk about counting and how it can help solve our problems. And remember, a data science project doesn't always have to have machine learning in it. It doesn't matter as long as it solves the problems of our customers. Hello, everyone. My name is Roman Bunin, and I'm a head of data visualization team in Yannex Go. I'm going to teach you the secret Kung Fu techniques how to make your internal customer laugh and last your dashboards. In order to do so, we will use style guide and templates. I'll show you some ideas how to create your own ones, and also I'll make a quick demo how to create a sexy dashboard in the blink of an eye. See you on a data fest.